Mildred, it's me, your dad. I just flew halfway across the world to be with you, little lady. Great. I love the character of Strawn. This um, absurd kind of buffoon, washed up magician who sort of flies to New Zealand with all the bluster of trying to impress his daughter who he's never met and failing miserably at that. And the fun of breaking a character like that down and and finding the core was really intriguing to me. I'm sorry for the whole absent father thing. What's this? This is the Canterbury Panther. No one's ever caught definitive proof. I could take you. We leave at first light. It's a buddy journey movie, basically, at its heart. So it's kind of like, yeah, came up with the characters of Mildred and Strawn. And we just thought, like, you know, let's just grab someone from the Vegas LA scene, which is someone who has zero skills to cope with uh, the deep southern wild of New Zealand and put him with this sort of fun, precocious, super confident 11 year old who dreams about camping and going on an adventure, but that actually also doesn't have any skills. And then it becomes a coming of age a dual coming of age movie. I would say the most challenging role in the film is probably Mel's role. I mean, she really is the engine that drives the movie. She certainly is the engine that drives that dynamic. My character is constantly on his back feet, trying to impress her with her shooting him down constantly. And she came into the film so prepared and with such enthusiasm and energy that she just made everything so easy. So what does the average day for an illusionist look like? I do appearances. Wow. You think it's easy making a hundred balloon animals for Vin Diesel's kids? What the hell is a Vin Diesel? When you have someone who's like a brick wall to that and just sees it as just pure theatrics and, and nothing behind it, what are you left with? The facade is gone, the mask is gone, and he's exposed. And so then it just becomes sort of more raw and we start to see the real person come from behind the mask, which is Strawn's character, the father character. And then she realizes that there is some stepping up that's occurring and she opens up as well because she's got a mask on as well because of the anger that she sort of has been simmering away that kind of pops. She uses him as a vessel to get what she needs at the start, which is like, let's go on this adventure. There's a prize, I need to do that. But beneath that, obviously, it's the connection that she's always sort of pined for. Okay, that's officially the craziest thing I've ever seen. I know, I'm pretty dressed too.